And welcome back. It's 825 now on this Friday morning. In this economy, no one's job is safe, whether you're an auto worker, a banker, or even a high-profile radio talk show host. Mike Sinto was fired from WDAO Radio on Monday. Now, Sinto tells the Dayton Daily News he believes it was his criticism of President Barack Obama and his stimulus plan that cost him his job. Here to kind of help us sort everything out is the former host of Expressions 2 on WDAO. Mike Sinto, great to have you with us, Mike. Pete, thank you very much. Thank you so much for uh, coming on the show here. All right, obviously, I know you've been uh, busy this week, even after leaving the show, yeah. getting some national attention because of this. Uh, I've been on uh, seven national talk shows already. Uh, that, this was, and this was not my intent, understand mm -hmm. this. Uh, I've got another one coming up right after I leave here, and, and there's more scheduled for next week. Uh, this, but this was not about, really, about me being fired from, from WDAO. This is a much bigger thing. Uh, understand. Uh, the owner of the station had every right to fire me. This is a, this is a hire at will state. They, he can fire me if he doesn't like my haircut. <laughs> a lot have. But, you know, it, this, was a, this is much bigger. I believe that because this is a, a Democrat controlled city, uh, that and I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I really believe, and as, as the president has called out uh, and told people, don't listen to conservatives like Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity. Uh, this is this is part of a plan to at the grassroots level to get rid of conservatives like me who've been doing this for 33 years. What better place to start than a black radio station, a conservative? Now you do have to look across the board, though, and, and and take a look at the fact that I mean, obviously, you know, print publications, radio, we've been feeling it in the television business mm -hmm. as well. Advertising yeah. revenues are down. That is what your former GM was saying was the reason for this. Now I I, I found the one quote, and you you mentioned, you know, race. Possibly yeah. being thrown in this, I know the quote you had in the Dayton Daily News was, my show was hosted by a conservative white guy, and I wasn't sure it would work on a liberal black radio station. So do you think it was race or politics or both oh, no. had a hand in this? As a matter of fact, Pete, the calls, I wish I, had them, I, wish I could tape them and bring them in. The calls I've gotten from people uh, in emails are, are almost totally black, who are absolutely behind me. They believe this is censorship. They believe if it happened to me, it can happen to somebody else. Uh, it really isn't about race. Uh, it's about politics, and it's about liberals who are in power trying to shut up conservatives like me and they're going to start here and they're going to work their way up and 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 believe it or not it'll hit the liberals as well somewhere down the road well it sounds like this has been a obviously a hot topic on just about every conservative radio talk show that you listen to there have been some on capitol hill who have sort of started talking about the, the fairness doctrine obviously done away in the 1980s sort of an equal time thing that would would pretty much kill conservative talk radio wouldn't it Oh, absolutely. It would kill. I think it would kill talk radio totally because then conservatives would say, you know, we want our piece of the pie, if you will. Uh, I, I, I had a sign that I had up in my studio that I stared at said, you will refer to the president as President Barack Obama anytime you talk to him or caller does. I was in trouble for that several times because I didn't and they didn't. I wondered when in the, in the last eight years when callers were calling and calling Bush everything but President Bush, uh, a baby killer, a murderer, uh, a warmonger, why didn't I get that note then? So that right. tells me this is about politics. Well, Mike, I know you were just, sure, just shy of your 10-year anniversary, been there a long time, possibly a First Amendment thing here, it sounds like to you. It, uh, yeah, absolutely, no question. All right, well, Mike Sinto, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Kind of help us sort it out a little bit. All right, Pete, All right. For thank more you. information on the whole thing, you can visit our website at daytonsnewsource.com. Your time right now is 829. Coming up on Fox 45 in the morning, General Motors.